All right, here we go. This is everything that we have. Diane Seeley is a mom who likes to keep her medications and her family's front and center in the kitchen. This one is Lortab. This one is prednisone. This is Vicodin. This is what I just had for the dental work that I had done. And that's um, pretty full because that's some potent stuff. No doubt, potent stuff sitting in her kitchen cabinets with quite the street value. Have you ever heard of StreetRx.com? It's a website that's going to make you do a double take. It lists the prices of prescription painkillers, not what you pay for them at the pharmacy, but what you buy them for on the street. You'll learn a lot just looking through this site about a new wave of drug addicts. And this new wave is well represented on even popular TV shows. Ask your kids. This season on the new 90210, a main character is battling ADHD medication addiction. I got my ADHD medication in here somewhere. Here you go. The only thing they can think about is how they're going to get their next dose. How are they going to secure it? Jared Bauer is a pharmacist at Uptown Pharmacy in Westerville. We've had patients that we find out um, when we're filling prescriptions, they've been to four or five doctors in the area, they've been to four or five different pharmacies, they're getting the same medications, and they're, they're trying anything they can to get as much of the product as possible. So you have to have that conversation with them where, hey, I'm concerned about what you're, what's going on. Diane's medications and their location will set off alarms for many families. We use StreetRx.com to price her drugs. This one's Lortab. The price on the street? This one is going for 10 bucks a pill. Her Vicodin? $4 a pill. Really? Yeah, wow. which you still have a few left in there, it sounds like. And some pills go for $30, even 60 If you have a party or a person over that has a problem and you don't know about it, these pills are gone. They're going to be looking and they can easily get access in your kitchen cabinets or your medicine cabinet and you don't even think anything about it till a few days later when you notice they're missing or if it's something you're not taking anymore you may never even realize they took a few doses out of the bottle. Definitely thinking that I don't need to keep it in a cabinet where it's so easily accessible. We bagged up Diane's meds and took them to our pharmacist. She wanted to get rid of them but there was a problem. Can you get rid of all of this for me today? I can't. Pharmacists cannot take back medications. You can mail in most medications in this envelope to an authorized pill take back group, but you cannot send in the high dollar narcotics. Ambien. I can't put this in here. You can't put that one in there. Because? Because it's a controlled substance. Okay. Um, Vicodin. Can't put that one in there. Lower tab. No. Nope. We're on the verge of an epidemic. Tony Murata is with the Drug Enforcement Agency based in Columbus. A lot of people think just taking a pill is not going to really hurt you. It's not going to turn you into an addict. You're not snorting it. You're not shooting it. You're not smoking it. You know, they think just by getting a glass of water and taking a pill, nothing bad's going to happen. But that's the start. When people run out of money down the line, they're moving on to heroin. Murata says it's the same kind of high that these pills give. Destroys destroys. And it all can start in your medicine cabinet. I had no idea that it was worth, you know, a, a street value. Michaela Hunt, NBC4.